Kung Fu Panda 4. Released March 8, 2024. Directed by Mike Mitchell and Stephanie Stein. Written by Jonathan Abel, Glenn Berger, and Darren Lemke. Starring Jack Black, Aquafina, and Viola Davis. Rotten Tomatoes score, 72%. IMDb, 6.9 out of 10. Metacritic, 57. Welcome back to Real Reviews. I am your host, Lee. And today we are reviewing Kung Fu Panda 4. Jack Black is back in what seems to be the final installment of the Kung Fu Panda series. I can be pretty honest up front that if you enjoy Kung Fu Panda, you will enjoy this movie. It has the same comedy, the same level of voice acting and animation, and in my opinion the fights are choreographed a bit better. This movie is a throwback to all the old ones, you get to see all the old villains, you get to see their cool moves. So I guess you could say that maybe you want to see the old movies and maybe some of the show. The trailers pretty much gave away the plot, but here we go anyway. An evil sorceress named the Chameleon wants to steal all the evil Kung Fu masters of the past Kung Fu powers. Her reasoning? Kinda weak, honestly. She was told when she was younger that she was too small to do Kung Fu, and that it wasn't her destiny, so she took up sorcery to be able to do what she was denied. So like I said, the voice acting is good. We all know Jack Black is good as pill. Then we have Viola Davis as the Chameleon, and she is just a great actress across the board, so it is no surprise that she did a good job here. Aquafina is Jin. She might be a sticking point for some people, and honestly if you don't like her you won't like her here. She doesn't do anything new or interesting. I don't find it particularly bad. She works well in a kid's movie. I think the writing is pretty decent. It is jokes just for the adults, like most kids' movies do. It is pretty straightforward, and while the twist won't shock any older viewer it might get kids even though it is pretty well laid out beforehand. They do earn the twist though, which many movies don't always do. It puts everything needed for it out in the open before it happens. I don't think anyone of any age will leave this movie super let down by any means, even if you aren't wowed. Ultimately, this is a movie about moving on and passing the torch, which is really a message for adults as kids have nothing really to pass on yet. But it lands, and you can see the steps that Pate takes along the way. They did a funny subversion of a classic trope, which I always appreciate. The best part of this movie is certainly the fights, and I think that has been one of the best parts of each of the prior entries as well. The chameleon really makes this interesting as she shapeshifts in between moves to bring the next one out as a counter. The fights feel more grounded, which I feel is mainly due to advances in technology where they can make it feel like a single cut in a live-action movie as the fights flow evenly from scene to scene. Where prior movies had more flashy big moves to let them have breaks and be able to set them up in different scenes and poses. Overall, I think the reviews are mostly right. This is a middling to decent movie, it is enjoyable overall, has decent pacing, acting, and writing. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I tend to have at least two videos out per week. Tomorrow, I will have a real review of the Netflix movie Damsel. Next week, I should have a real review of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Until next time.